The GRP has always had amazing LEO. And this is why I didn't want to abandon it for just straight out save RP. You guys love the gang series. You guys love me, you know, being on demon time all the time. But what about being a cop? Being a cop is one of the things that really puts my channel. And being a cop is also one of the things that the VRP gets right. Now we are making more of a shift since Cubicore into some more realistic cop kind of RP, just like how the civilians are. But I've not seen a server or a community who has done both together. Welcome to my cop series and welcome to the series where we show you law enforcement tactics, tricks, tips, legal stuff, understanding the law, etc. Now, just a little bit of a disclaimer. I'm not a cop in real life and i'm also not an american however i do have the ability that a lot of people don't have to ask questions i have a lot of people around me who i can ask questions to if i feel like i do not know the answer i can ask these questions and these persons are irl cops these persons are people are within the legal system right and there's also other things you can do to find out information such as doing your research so Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Let's get all on the street and um, enforce the law, y'all. 100 sim traffic. Hands, hands, hands. Hey, go ahead and tase him, bro. Like, we're not playing these games. Alright, go ahead and tase him. Go ahead and tase him. Please just turn around, man. You are going to get tased if you do not turn around. Now get on your knees. Get on your knees. Now, I'm not approaching you till you get on your knees, and you're gonna get tased if you don't respond. Okay. Malik, if you feel safe, you can approach him. True person, though. Uh, Chad, I'm swinging left a little so I can stay within my line. Stop being a punk, man. I ain't never that serious, dog. Yeah, we can talk here in a second, man. You say what? Hey, man, that's true for snow. Yeah, What's that's true for snow. Why, like, I don't know why you keep talking about me. Oh, I don't. I don't know for sure, man. I just, I know what you say what? sounds really similar. All right, true for snow. Uh, and I'm also so Commissioner Knight, not Chad. <laughs> my, my bad, sir. My bad. I, I appreciate that. People I know. You sound like people I know from my old city, so that's on me. My bad. No problem. Have a good one. You too, Commissioner. Jeez. Just gone ahead and start eating our cheeseburger. I'm gonna go back over here. I gotta put this evidence down. Let's keep it pushing here. Yeah, it's almost that time for me to go to bed right now. If I'm being honest with you. Is it this? It's the middle here. This is not a computer, sir. As I stand corrected, I think he got off for the night. 712 100, uh, which station are you talking about, sir? We're at the sheriff's station. We were advised that we can do it down here in the archive room, but we don't know how. 10 4, I figured it out. It wasn't a computer, it's a shelf. Alright, so there's a shots fire that just went out. I had crashed, so that's why I'm so late to getting to it and responding. My radio is not even connected anymore. 400, you can show me on scene. 
10 4. We're coming out to the cars. He's not breathing. He'll have to be transported. So I'll meet you out here to give you the gun. Are you coming out to the garage outside or, or the main street? I'm heading out to the main street though. Probably going to stay in the garage then. Yeah, I'm in the garage. Not six nine about pillbox code three one critical patient multiple GSWs to the torso. Ten four, is this you in the uh, state car? I just left. Top in the mouth of pillbox. Yeah, but the rest of us are down here with the weapons. Ten four, uh, who's the nice highest ranking other than myself? It would be me, 7-Eleven, but I fired my weapon, so I can't take it. 10 4 who's the other units that showed up that's not on scene currently? I wasn't involved in the scene, I should say. 1-King-9, uh, correction, Union-20. Union-20, go over to the hospital with that unit who transported the suspect. I'm going to handle the Eastern reports over here. 9 6 9 arrival, pillbox. All right. All right. So, all right. all right. Hold on. Before you say anything. Yeah, I got you. He comes out because he's about to go to the prison, and he, instead of going to the prison, the guy walks in to hand him his stuff because Bolingbroke's gonna take it all. So what does he hand him? He hands him a knife back in the jail cell. So the guy charges us, and we have to shoot him. Now I'm looks to be hurt i don't know how i didn't get stabbed or nothing but we told him it should have went to evidence and the guy's like no he didn't use it in the crime yeah but you don't give him a knife going to prison you put it in evidence and they can pick it up it's not evidence as in in a crime you know what i mean yeah everything oh they take this the person this evidence. this made me mad right here because i could have died right there i agree with all you. right let's go over here um i'll just start with you first all right all right, just go ahead and hand over your weapon to me. All right. Unload it if you can. If not, it's fine. Hold on, I got to step away from your vehicle. It's saying it's locked. No, you can give it to me directly. I'll put it in the evidence bag. Yeah, it wouldn't let me pull up the uh, tab, though. Okay, I got you. All right, there we go. One King Nine, show me 1042, 10 7. Have a great night. User How do these evidence bags even work? Not even sure how these evidence bags even work. To be quite honest with you, I don't know either. It's not taking the stuff like. I don't think it uh, takes um, guns and stuff like that. I think you just put that into evidence by itself. It just put it in one of the drawers at MRPD. Okay. All right. All right. Go ahead and run me through what happened. All right. So the trooper or whoever it is, I don't even know. I think it's a trooper. Um, I guess got in a fist fight. Well, I was coming to go 10-7. I heard that, so I started walking back there. When I got back there, they already had him under control, put him in the solitary confinement place. He finishes his report, tells the guy that states here to pick him up to bring him to Bolingbrook, and that he's going. When he does that, I guess he has some stuff that he had to give back to him, such as fireworks, knives, whatever. And I, I made the suggestion, being Senior Corporal, why don't we put it into evidence so he can get it when he gets out. Just place it on hold, not evidence as in going to trial. You know what I mean? So instead of listening to that, he tells me, no, it's not evidence because it wasn't used in the crime. And he proceeds to walk into the solitary confinement cell and hand him his stuff back, at which point he pulls a knife and charges at us. Uh, the trooper, I believe, tased him after he got off the floor from being tased he charged at me at which point i already had my gun so i fired i want to say three shots okay. three to four i can't remember um and then when he was down on the ground the trooper dragged him out here to his car again i advised him that next time we need to put it into evidence and the trooper again stated no it wasn't evidence it wasn't used in a crime we have to give it back to him that's and incorrect then he up. but okay yeah, All that's right. exactly what I was saying. That that could have been my life because that trooper doesn't know what he's doing. Okay. All right. So. All right, that's it. All right, thank you. Right. Call one of the others. What's up, boss man? All right, what's up? All right, uh, just state your name. Just state your name, uh, badge number, and um, 
your side of the story from here. Did you fire your weapon? No, I fired off my taser. Okay. All right. It is a Robert M713. Okay. And you used your taser. How many taser cartridges did you use? I only used one. Okay, go ahead and hand that over to me. All right, thank you. Now, what was uh, what happened in this situation? So I was about to go 10-7 when I heard that he was having trouble in the cell. So I walked in and heard them arguing about uh, getting tased seven times and then getting whacked with the uh, flashlight. Mm -hmm. And then we were um, talking back and forth while he was doing the report and right it up to the point when uh, Blaze walked in. We were uh, telling him that he shouldn't be giving the evidence back to him and that should be getting logged. And he proceeded to tell us that's uh, not the way it's supposed to be done. And both of us are just telling him that it needs to because be Because uh, you just logged. better shoot you. The hell? Yeah. And hey, no offense, but I don't want him bringing that guy back in there. Can I have my guy take over for him? Mm, hold on. Hey Luca. Oh. Luca. Yeah, what up? I need you to, I need to talk to you over here. Um I'll let one of the guys who weren't involved handle the uh suspect. One hundred one of you, uh other units that wasn't involved on it, you can go ahead and transport the suspect into the um into the, the cell and take everything off of him. Alright, I need to know what happened Definitely. and did you fire Second your firearm? Was not involved, he'll take it. I believe I fired my firearm. I'm not too sure everything happened very fast. Okay. Uh, did you have it fully loaded? Uh, no. I only put one mag in my firearm every time. Okay. Go ahead and hand me your firearm. Actually, yeah, I did fire. Fired four rounds. All right. I think of it. All right. What's your name? Badge number? Luca Rodriguez, 969. All right. And when you fired your firearm, what was in the badge drop? Uh, it was a... Uh, Brick wall. Okay, what led you to shoot fire your firearm? He started lunging on us with the knife. And there's okay. three Jeff, units yeah, involved that is in the room. subject that you have. Um, All right, yourself go ahead and um, straight down that way. give me a detailed scenario what happened. So uh, we were about to send him off to jail, um, and I had to give him his legal items back. His knife was a legal item at the time. Nope, there was nothing go. illegal. Hold on. Next door is to the left. Yep. There was nothing illegal down, about the knife. The knife is perfectly legal, um, and it wasn't involved with the crime. So I had to turn that back. I was about to uh, send him off to jail when uh, the, the two units came in there um, and started talking to him. So that delayed the time. Um, and so I was about to give it to them. I had to unlock the door so I could hand him his uh, driver's license back because it wouldn't let me. Um, so then I did that. I was about to send him off to jail. Next thing you know, he's reaching for a knife. I run out of the cell, uh, scream knife. The units, uh, one of them grabs the taser. The other one grabs his firearm and I grab my firearm. And, uh, I tell him to stop. Uh, he gets tased one, or I tip, correction. I pulled my taser out originally, tased him once, then switched my firearm. Started giving him commands to, uh, drop the knife, drop the knife. And then he got up and started running towards me and, uh, I believe, the corporal. Um, okay. At that point, I decided, or I just charged four, uh, four bullets from my uh, duty issued pistol. Okay. All right. All right. So, okay. So here's the 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 kind of the issue that I'm having with this whole thing, right? You should have given him back his items from the time he's under arrest. He surrenders everything that's on him and it's placed in secure evidence bags until his release. When he's been released, then that's when he gets his items back, not before. So in a case like that, you not only put yourself in danger, but you put everybody else in danger with somebody that could have killed all of you in, in a situation like that. Well, I, is, uh, I understand uh, that it was not involved in the crime, but it is still a weapon inside of police station. It's a restricted area and he's under arrest. So you shouldn't give him back his stuff. The only he has... reason I gave it back was because what, you give it back and then 
like I was going to send them off right after, but then the troopers ended up coming, or the deputies ended up coming and talking. But when you give it to them, the jail takes the items, so it's kind of mm -hmm. like you're giving it to DSC. So I get I, I gave it to the DSC, um, so that way as soon as he got sent to jail, when you get sent to jail, your pockets have nothing in it until you get released. So it's supposed to be like a DSC item, but I guess he didn't. No, but well, but this is this is why we also keep them because then they can always come back to the station and say, well, can I get my stuff back? I understand it would be a DLC stuff, but there's currently not a framework set up for them to get their stuff back. So the best thing to do in this situation would be to keep the items in our evidence room, and then once he, um, and then once he he's been released, or even if you keep them in your car until he's been released and once he's been released he can then go ahead and contact you or contact the station and say well i want my items back um and then that's when you hand them over to him but not while you're in a cell like that because people are gonna go ahead and take advantage of stuff like that if you get what i understand so i understand where you are coming from in terms of you know him his items being removed by doc but we're trying to do things a different way therefore Take the items, put them in the evidence room until um, he's been released and he comes back to the station for it. If he doesn't come back to the station for it, then it becomes state property. All right. You guys can go ahead and um, fill out the incident report. Make sure you fill them all in detail. And um, this is something that I'm going to have to pass on to other people. Do you understand that? Um, on everybody's part. Yep. Uh, yep. So make sure you guys go ahead and fill out the incident reports before you head back out. Um, grab your weapons back again. I'm going to go ahead and put these weapons in in um, in in evidence. Uh, does is it MRP is the only one that has evidence or does this one have an evidence? This OK. Uh, I can't find the evidence room here. It's um, but uh, up right, up, right upstairs in the archive room. Yes, I will computer. All right. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and put these things in the evidence. But um you guys just go ahead and fill out the incident reports all right hey can i get the name of that guy all right let's go ahead and i'm glad i was able to get just get back in and figure out what's going on here i have a taser and these two weapons put that back in my trunk can you guys show me where this happened yeah i got you let me get my camera first all right yeah i think uh one thing he was a little confused on is uh he's completely right with the doc process just nationwide statewide all that weapons don't go to and from doc they go to evidence everything else like cell phones and all that yes but weapons i think that might be where he was going either way it wouldn't really make sense to um give it back to him right here Correct. yeah not a knife yeah even if and you if send they... it off right after because then imagine that's like giving somebody a knife back that's going into a prison transport with other tr prisoners. Like, Correct, no. Yeah. So it was in this cell, but he didn't get shot till after this because he opened the door to go in to hand him the stuff. And then the dude came out at us with the knife. So it was in this lobby area. So here's where the shots happened. Yes. Yeah, so I so was right here facing this way. There was a guy where you're standing and a guy where my other deputy was standing. And then the guy with the knife was right here. And Holy came at shit. Me and you could see the bullet holes over here. Holy shit. I do see the bullet holes. Wait, hold up. Yeah, and yeah. then there's a bullet hole right in front of you on the floor there. All right, just back up a second. All right, let's get out so he can do his investigation. All right, let's go ahead and... Okay. All right, so this is a lot of stuff going on here. Um, That's interesting. All right. Well, uh, I'm finished here. You guys can go ahead and send the janitors in to go clean it up and the rest of forensics to go clean up everything. Um, but that's it for me. Um, for He's a felon now, you, right? you guys are going to be able to hear from you guys as supervisors regarding the incident. So have a good one. Would be the charge. All right. Let's go on ahead now. Uh, that should be 969. Hopefully he does it. Perfect, but don't overstep him. Don't make him feel like he's not doing nothing. But if he doesn't do it, just make the right.
Uh, I'm alright this. Hello? I'm getting off, so you guys have a good hey, night. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Hey, I saw that you were listed under the, the police department. I was wondering if I can get a gun license uh, at the station. I have no clue how to do that, sir. That's way below my pay grade. <laughs> okay, I'll call somebody else. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good one. You too. To bruh, call by a gun license. Yeah, right. One hundred, you can show me back tonight. This crazy stream of events right there. One hundred, I got a high rate of speed. Tempe. One hundred. I have a high rate of speed. BMW six one four attempting to stop. Let me get some backup, please. I'm gonna go ahead and pull him up the vehicle. Hey, uh, you don't sound okay. Ten four. Let me 612. He just randomly stopped in the middle of the road. Let me get some backup over here. Seven eleven. I just got back ten eight. Where are you at? I'm coming to you. Give me six twelve. It's gonna be a purple and colored BMW M3. Uh he just stopped in the middle of the road instead of pulling over. Pull it over to the I'm side! Go ahead and lock this plate here. I forgot how to do it. There you go. All right. Um, how do I bring up this tablet now? There we go. Database. Quick search. License plate search. Oh, come on. Hmm. Can't see the plate. Seven Eleven, I'm on scene. Ten four, can you call that plate out for me? Ten four, it's gonna be three. Oscar Juliet two nine three, Mike Yankee. Three Oscar Juliet two nine three, Mike Yankee. Seven eleven to units. Did you guys have a purple car run from you guys earlier? Uh, not I. Uh... Ten four. What about county? Anybody up there have a purple car? All right, good day, sir. 
How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm the Commissioner Knight with the uh, Los Santos Police Department. Reason for the stop is your reckless Somebody driving. I witnessed you run four, no, five red yeah, lights, as well as catch some ear when you were coming off of that uh, that hill over there. Recall, Do you have your license or registration proof of insurance on you? Uh, yes, sir, I do. I apologize about that. Uh, I was just trying to help my Are you speaking of the purple vehicle that reported the okay. NVA we had earlier on the 13th? There you go, sir. All right. Thank you, dude. Can you go ahead and step out the vehicle for me, please? Yes, sir. Yeah, 10 sir. Uh, I have All right. Go ahead and turn around. Do you have anything on your me stick may hurt me? I do not. All right. I'm going to be going ahead and placing you under correction under detainment right now. Um, reckless driving is an arrestable offense. All right. All right. Do you have anything on you? Put me, stick me, hurt me, or piss me off in any other way, shape, or form. I do not. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and search you now. Okay. Okay. Is there anything in that car um, that I need to worry about as well? No, sir. Okay. All right, so you say you're testing around, you're testing this car. You can go ahead and turn around. Yeah, yeah, I just got it. I was trying to see what it had under the hood, and uh, it's pretty quick. It yeah, is, but it is. I mean, I had to get up to a hundred and something to catch you. The only reason I caught you is because you uh your your eye popped. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Running four red lights, five red lights is not it's not it's not safe at all, and the reckless driving is just. That's way out of line at this point. You understand that? I apologize, sir. All right. I uh, I have never been pulled over for, before or anything, and uh, yeah, I don't usually drive like this. Okay. Well, we're gonna see. I haven't decided if I'm gonna fully arrest you. I'm gonna give you a hefty ticket yet, but at this point, you do know that I'm not gonna be very lenient with you. You understand that? Yeah. All right. Once again, I'll ask you one more time. Is there anything in that vehicle? I have all rights to search it right now. Do you have anything in that vehicle that I need to worry about? Or or have you been on any drugs or any prescription medication? Nope. Have you had anything to drink today? Nope. Okay. Sit tight for me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's go ahead and search his car. Don't find anything out of the ordinary. Condense and the evidence sweep. I mean, within my rights to do all this because he did commit a crime. Uh, reckless driving is an arrestable offense. So. All right, let's go in my car and get a fingerprint kit and all that kind of stuff. If you hate me, I'm going to I'm going to hit you so hard, bro. What do you mean I don't have the keys to my own vehicle? Can I not like get in my trunk? The hell? I really need that. There you go. Mm, fingerprint kit. All right, let's come that evidence sweep. I do have a fingerprint kit that I can go ahead and just check for fingerprints and anything. I haven't taken anything off of him as yet, so that's something I need to do. Find and see. Find and see. One, one, one. Okay. That's all that. His person now. Work. Um, police actions. Right. He doesn't have anything on him that is of. Of uh, concern. 
let's go ahead and run his information here open profile so no address on thing He's supposed to be a female which kind of interesting no prior records he does have a vehicle registered his vehicle have insurance all right so where's the insurance on your car um it should be in there is it not in there one second i'm still trying to navigate my way here nope it's not in here really yeah it doesn't look like you have valid insurance either no, i bought it did you actually keep the card in here because there's nothing in your glove box I, I remember putting it in there I, I had passengers i guess somebody might have took it okay or maybe a cop didn't give it back one time because i handed that off to a cop um police action search i'm gonna give you your id card back um you're gonna today's probably gonna be your lucky day however uh your car is gonna get towed um i'm not gonna arrest you but i am gonna cite you you don't understand that all right all right so uh, sit tight for me i'll be back with you shortly let's go ahead and just cite him I'm going to tow his car. Um, he was pretty cooperative, so I won't take him to jail today. But um, those kind of things are a little bit, you know, unacceptable. So create a report. If it would work. Incident report, I assuming. I'm not even going to. Not available. Maybe. There we go. Um, find location. Uh, this is Wild Road again. How we Avenue. Um, brief description. Reckless driving. Witness running five red. So, uh, what do you want? My first one involved uh, um, BMW M3. Hey, uh, you mind if I? Well, I'm getting a phone call. I'll just let it ring. Unbelievable. All right. Purple. Confiscated. Or select the charges. Reckless driving select uh two counts oh, and then else is calling me jeez you must be an important man um they're blowing up my phone is it okay if i answer it uh, i don't talk to him about letting you out the cuffs i don't take anyone it's my policy i don't take anyone out of cuffs i don't put in all right Fence is the operation vehicle. Who is it? I don't know. I, just well, I mean, like, are Traffic you, uh, are you expecting something or? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to make a sale with a couple people right now. Um, but that shouldn't be until later. Um, so I don't know who it is. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, I think that should be fine right here. I see something. Close. They pay the fine. Let's do seven. No reductions. No total fines. Oh. Uh, traveling on. I forgot what road that was. Yo. Hi, hey, what's up? Hey, you want him to stay in cuffs or no? You can take him out of cuffs, but he's not leaving yet. 
Yeah, he just oh. needs to take a phone call. I'll make sure you don't go nowhere. Okay, no problem. All right, the road right, that I was you, on so was Glory B. Is You're that right. you pooping? Yeah. Is he pooping? Uh, it sounded like he passed gas. You're not gonna try anything funny, are you? No, I gotta poop. Hey, you have the keys to the vehicle already since you're towing it? Um, not really. I, I don't know how that works, really. I'm just trying to figure it out as I go. Oh. Gotcha. He should be able to give them to you. So if we uncuff him, he gives you the keys. Then I'll feel more comfortable. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to lie. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm not touching those cuffs. Uh, I oh, man. The uh, for some reason, I just got like the sudden urge. Oh, I'm so sorry, officer. I think I pooped on your rampart. Yeah, the bus on. Um, I mean, it bus. probably went down the back of your leg onto the floor. Because you got pants on. Your car is not going to be wide right. anymore. Hello, After anything. I don't know what is with people today. Vehicle. Wherever you okay. all people went to eat, because this is the second person I dealt with that did this. I witnessed him going, oh, man, uh, running. What's happening. It's like a sudden urge, and I can't a stop total it. total of five oh, we got some red lights in, in... Terroristic pep... Uh, oh, wow. What's that thing called? Like, like colon nice. cleanser so, thing? Yeah. One. Well, yeah. Maybe that's, that's how... Did. You should probably oh, investigate it. That's above me if it's terroristic. That'd be someone higher than me. I'm just county, oh, city man. county deputy. Okay. Oh, oh, man, it's oh. rotten, too. Uh, yeah, I can smell it from here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna back up. I'm coming with you. No, you ain't. Go stand back in front of their car. Alright. And then I should be Go it. Go stand back in front of their car. Thanks, bro. I'm not gonna tell you again. You want just the citations? Go stand back in front of that car. Oh, bro, you gonna make me stand next to a pile of shit. Yeah, your smell followed you. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. I have Alright, go ahead and turn around. Be careful where you step, officer. He took a crap right there. Oh, uh, he's gonna clean it, or somebody's gonna clean it. I can't help it. It's not like I have control over my bowel. You should. You, you're a grown man. You do, though. Yeah, uh, there's something in the water. There's gonna be like a terrorist attack or something. Okay. <laughs> you're All right. That's what I All right. Here's a wipe. Go ahead and wipe your hands, and then sign this citation here. Oh, oh, it's nasty. I'm gonna throw up. All right, if you're going to throw up, throw up in your car or something. In my car? Yeah, don't throw up on my white shirt. Okay, well, you want me to sign the citation? Quit walking away from me. You throw up on me, I'm going to charge you with assault. There you go. All right, have a good one. You'll be free to go. I'm going to tow the car now, so have a great day. Um, I don't know if there's anything you want out of here, but... You care if I grab some stuff? Yeah, go ahead. Oh boy. Impound. I'm gonna wait until he's finished. Alright, thank you. You guys have a good one. I gotta go change my pants. You too. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Crazy, crazy, crazy. That's the second time today. Yeah, it's a... It's a... I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah. Alright, I'm in pawn in the car. Alright, well, thanks for the backup. I'm gonna head back to Nit. Yes, sir. 100, you can show me back to Nit. I knew it was going to catch him. He got 13,000 in fines, though, for that, for that careless, reckless driving. Oh, boy. Why am I hungry? I'm very, very hungry.